is the game I think we're going to get goals. Obviously, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Man City host Southampton. Man City minus 850. Southampton plus 1700. Now, listen, this is where we've got to get a bit cute. Man City minus two and a half is minus 112. I've got that around minus 145, minus 150. Man City to score four is plus 126. Now, Southampton were 2 0 up last week against uh, Leicester and lost 3 2. They've been up in, in a few games and then they've fallen apart. I don't know if Southampton actually have got enough to score in this game. They're minus 125 not to score. Brad, do you ask me for a scoreline? I think Man City don't take their foot off the pedal. They start with five. Yeah, I think this is going to be an absolute thrashing on the Manchester City part. Yeah. And it's not because it's not like a match where Manchester City are going to have to go for it, right? I just think they're going to be set up in a situation where they're playing a lesser opponent, right? Like, think about um, how bad Southampton are. They're going to probably have 40%, 40% possession in this match. You know, they're going to let in a ton of goals. It's going to be a, a feast or famine for all of the players on Manchester City who are trying to vie for more, more playing time, right? Now you finally have a fully fit Phil Foden. He scored midweek, and you know he's going to want to score again. Erling Holland. Uh, man, uh, Premier League goal drought is something that's being talked about. When you're a prolific goal scorer like Erling Holland, you don't like goal droughts. You want to score, um, and, and I think he scores a couple. It's actually kind of funny. Looking at his price, I was going to be pro uh, betting the, the Erling Holland brace and the hat trick. Starting price, plus 160 for him to score two goals. You know, average Erling Holland price. Was well, that is not plus... good enough for you? Well, his average price is plus 250, so that's uh, a little bit more than a dollar. That's I know, but dollar, he's playing you know, against the Premier League's New England Patriots or the Carolina yeah, Panthers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm okay with sitting that one out, um, you know, at plus 160. Even even if he scores two, I, I just want a little bit more meat. Um, but I saw a line that I thought was a little bit more advantageous, and that was Manchester City quarter handicap. Yeah. First, it ties to what I said about them keeping the possession. They're going to have the bulk of the possession uh, so far this season. They've won this corner handicap or won the corner handicap in every game at home. Uh, they did so against Fulham, did so against Arsenal. Obviously, that match was uh, was wild, right? Uh, we know what happened in that one. Uh, did so against Brentford and Ipswich. This is a game they're going to take a ton of shots. They're going to rip. They're going to score a ton of goals. And ultimately, they're going to get a lot of corners. But I do like the minus two and a half as well um, if you're on that. But I didn't want to double dip in this game. God, I would, I, honestly, I could have had about seven bets here. I like yeah. Stones at plus 800. I like three different goal scorers. I love your corners. I think the minus two and a half at minus 112 could be up at half time. Um, I also like Man City to score four at plus 126. I think this is one of the that comes around like as, a, score as, a, as, well. as a player. You've got every player that comes onto the pitch is a potential goal scorer. Um, I, don't, I don't see... Southampton having more than 29% possession and 99% of that 29% will probably be from goal kicks where shots have gone wide or throw-ins. George, it's one-way traffic this. Man City could put up a cricket score. Yeah, I mean, there's no chance of me being different here. This has to be a heavy Man City score. Um, and after City let me down last week with, with the extremely tight affair against Wolves, uh, not bringing my minus 1.5 in, I wouldn't back City in a gold handicap unless they were playing Southampton and they funnily enough are. So I think it's 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 the minus 2.5 is there for me. And I think City's result last night sort of gave me that extra confirmation that they still can go to that four and five range. And I mean, I do believe that they will on Saturday. Uh, goals per match, City ranked first uh, with 2.4. Goals conceded per match, Southampton ranked 19th with 2.3. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's there for it, the, the three-goal handicap. Um, so I, I, I've seen the, uh, the Doku and, and Grealish uh, are doubtful for the game. But you look at City that with the, the players they've got. They've got Savinho, Foden, Silva, all these players that can come in. I don't think that'll be a, a worry for, for Pep Guardiola. And I mean, obviously, finally, the previous meeting with these two sides, I think it was it was 4-1 to City. And I, I would see that game happening again and maybe uh, the five range. And, and I don't see the Southampton getting the goal that, that, that they probably got last year because they just can't. They can't bring much, to be honest, Southampton, especially against a, a City side who can defend, defend, defend this season. Um, so, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see 
this one being a tight affair in any way, shape or form. Yeah, if you are on Insta, then go over and follow, obviously, BetUS. I do free Premier League goal scorers uh, every single week on a Wednesday. They post it on a Thursday. Anytime goal scorers in the Premier League, every week, that BetUS Insta. And this week, all three of my goal scorers are in this game and they all play for the home side. So please go over and enjoy. I'm not complicating this game, um, although I do love the fact that I think that Man City minimum are 2-0 up at half-time. Let's have a little look at the official pitch because it's not one of those where we can go into tactics. We know what it is. Total dominance. It's how many they score. Man City minus 2.5, minus 112 for myself and for George. Uh, Man City minus 5.5 corners at minus 125. And I did double dip because I think Man City score a minimum of 4 and at plus 126, I'm happy to go over the team total of three and a half. It's almost like Bayern Munich-esque or Bayern Munich or almost Man City-esque.